Hey guys, welcome to Med School Made Easy again. So, we'll be talking about the blood supply of the upper limb in this video. So, we will have a look at uh, the brachial artery, the radial artery, and the ulna artery under the arterial supply, as well as the venous uh, drainage from the dorsal venous arch, uh, the cephalic vein, uh, the basilic vein and the medial, uh, median cubital vein and we also have a look at the origin, the cause and the branches of the arteries. So first up at the brachial artery. So this artery is basically the continuation of the axillary artery which is coming from the subclavian artery and uh, the axillary artery converts into um, the brachial artery at the lower border of the teres major and then uh, the brachial artery descends uh, downwards and laterally posterior to the median nerve in front of the arm and at, at the level of the neck of the radius it terminates by dividing into its uh, two terminal branches which are the radial and the ulnar arteries. And uh, the branches of this artery are the muscular branches, namely uh, the profunda brachii artery, the superior ulna collateral artery, and a nutrient artery, and uh, the inferior ulna collateral artery, and uh, the radial and the ulna artery. And also there are several anastomoses around the elbow joint coming from this artery. Uh, one in front of the lateral epicondyle and one behind the lateral epicondyle and uh, the others in front and behind the medial epicondyle. And now moving on to the radial artery. So this artery is the small terminal branch of the brachial artery. And this artery is given off at the neck of the radius and it runs down with the lateral convexity in the forearm and enters uh, the anatomical snuff box posteriorly to reach the uh, proximal end of the first interosseous space. And then it passes between the two heads of the first dorsal interosseous muscle and also the two heads uh, of the uh, adductor pollicis longus muscle and finally it uh, forms uh, the deeper palmar arch as you can see in here so that is the course of the radial artery and um, looking at the branches we have uh, the radial recurrent artery and a few muscular branches and palmar carpal branch and the dorsal carpal branch and the superficial palmar branch and at the dorsum of the hand it gives off the lateral branch to the thumb and the first dorsal metacarpal artery and at the palm of the hand it gives off uh, the princeps pollicis artery and the radialis indices artery and it also contributes to form the deep palmar arch which provides a channel connecting the radial and the ulna arteries and this is um, formed by the terminal radial artery and it is joined by the deep uh, palmar branch of the ulna artery at the base of the fifth metacarpal pole which actually completes this uh, arch and next up the ulna artery which is the larger terminal branch of the brachial artery and it is given off in the cubital fossa and it runs downwards obliquely and medially in um, the upper one third of the forearm and then immediately runs vertically downwards in the lower two-third of the forearm as you can see in here 
and then it runs superficial to uh, the flexor retinaculum and then enters the palm and terminates by dividing into the superficial and the deep palmar branches. So the branches of this artery are the superficial palmar branch which uh, forms the superficial palmar arch which is another channel between uh, the ulna and the radial arteries which joins with the superficial palmar branch of the ulna artery. Uh, branch of the radial artery actually. And it also has a deep palmar branch which forms uh, the deep palmar arch joining with the deep palmar branch of uh, the radial artery as I mentioned earlier. It should be the radial artery, not the ulnar artery. And moving on to the venous drainage of the upper limb. And so we have uh, the, uh, the digital veins here and a superficial and a deep uh, palmar venous arch and uh, we have the cephalic and the basilic vein and the middle median cubital vein which uh, we will have a look at now so the dorsal venous arch has um, tributaries which are the three dorsal metacarpal veins and the dorsal digital veins and uh, moving on to the cephalic vein, it actually commences from the lateral end of the lateral uh, dorsal venous arch and it goes uh, through the roof of the anatomical snuff box and uh, then along the lateral side of the forearm and enters in uh, enters the arm in front of the elbow and goes upwards along the lateral border of the biceps brachii and it then pierces the deep fascia at the lower border of the pectoralis major muscle and then runs in the deltopectoral groove and enters the infraclavicular fossa and then again pierces the clav uh, clavipectoral fascia and then drains into the axillary vein. And the basilic vein uh, commences from the medial end of the dorsal venous arch and runs upwards along the medial border of the forearm and enters in uh, enters the arm in front of the medial epicondyle and then runs upwards along the medial border of the biceps brachii uh, up to the mid arm and then it pierces the deep fascia of the arm and then runs along the medial side of the brachial artery and then becomes the axillary artery uh, the lower border of the teres major. So that's about uh, the blood supply of the upper limb. And thank you for watching.